video, we will be introducing relations. Now, one of the most obvious applications we can think of is between people, but we will quickly learn that we can apply this concept in general to the numbers and even the sets we've been working with. You've been relating real numbers like X and Y to each other for many years now. We can relate numbers by asking, are they equal? Uh, is one less than the other? Or we can relate them in terms of functions, right? Y is equal to X squared plus one. In this course also, we've been relating integers A and B as follows. We've been looking at divisibility, A divides B. We've been looking at congruency, a is congruent to B mod D. And we've also been looking at whether or not integers are both even or odd or do not share the same parity. These are all ways to relate integers to say which ones are related and which ones aren't. We also have these examples for sets. We've been relating sets by asking the question, are the sets A and B equal to each other? Or is the set A a subset of B? Formally define a relation. Well, mathematically, we will say if we have any two sets A and B, and these can contain any elements whatsoever, a relation R from A to B is actually a subset of the Cartesian product A times B. We're going to start with a very simple example. So we have two sets. A contains the numbers 1, 2, and 3 and B contains the numbers 0, 1, and 2. We are going to define the relation on these sets, and the relation that we are looking at is equality. So we are just going to ask the question, which elements from A are equal to the elements in B? We define the relation R, capital R, between or from A to B as follows. We write A, R, B. This reads A is related to B if and only if A is equal to B. The order here matters. The small a is from the set capital A and the small b is from the set B. So A is related to B if and only if the two are equal. Can you see which elements from the set A and B are equal? It will only be the numbers one and the numbers two. So how do we describe the relation? Well, this will be a set of ordered pairs and we will write it like this. R is equal to the set where the first ordered pair is 1, 1. 1 is equal to 1, it will read. And the second ordered pair is 2, 2. 2 is equal to 2. There are no other elements that satisfy equality. We can describe a relation using a diagram. So we can draw the two sets A and B. And we can describe the relation between these elements by drawing arrows from the elements in A to the elements in B. So we have, first of all, one is related to one. So we will have a connection there. And two is related to two. So we will have a connection there. At the moment, we did say the, the direction is important. So we are going to include arrows like this to say we are moving from 2 in the set A to the element 2 in the set B. We are also going to be looking at properties of relations on a set A. Now we will be looking at three properties mainly, namely reflexivity, symmetry, and transitivity. For reflexivity, we need to have that for any element in the set that we are looking at, that element has to be related to itself. For symmetry, if we have that two elements are related, for instance, A and B, then we also have to have that B is related to A, meaning the order in which they are related is not important. If one of them is in the relation, the other one also has to be. For transitivity, if we have that A is related to B and that B is related to a C, then A must be related to C as well. One of the easiest ways to visualize these three properties is to think of a family or being related to each other in a family. For reflexivity, it says that 
anybody that we look at, they have to be a relative of themselves. They have to be in the same family. And that's true. For symmetry, it says, if I am related to you, you must be related to me, which also makes perfect sense. For transitivity, if person A is related to person B, and person B is related to person C, then obviously person A must be related to person C. If we have all three of these properties, we say that a relation is an equivalence relation. And we are going to be taking a very close look at these specific types of relations and what we can take from them.